Welcome back, Frenemies, episode 43 here in the 757 Talk, one of our more relaxed environments as yeah. we get on these little things. But this is for our local league here, and if you're not a local guy, we thank you even more for paying attention Yeah. So what we got to talk about. But this week, man, a win is a win, is what we say around <laughs> here. And some of the wins this week were very, very lucky and very, very ugly. Yeah, so the win is a win. That's for me. I'm still undefeated in case anyone's wondering. I played Daniel this week, the worst team in the league. I predicted that I would lose. Yeah, you did. And I felt like I predicted well because I only scored 80-something points. My team took a poop. It was not good. Sammy Watkins made me have to rap. I don't know. You can listen to the main podcast if you want to hear me rap. I lost my bet to Chris. Yes, he did. And, uh... Yeah, it was it was a rough week, um, but unfortunately unfor- for me, uh, Tywater Turtles just can't catch a break. And yeah. he <laughs> Daniel's like, I'm not gonna let you outdo me. I'm gonna do worse than the, you. The big thing that, that did it for me was he had Dak Prescott, and I was watching that that Sunday night game. Just like, can this continue? Can he be bad all game? <laughs> he was bad all game. Dak Prescott is yeah. really what saved me there. He just had, I think he ended with like yeah, under- one good drive, and everything yeah. else was. And then the last play of the game was an interception. I was freaking out. This, that's why I love fantasy football. Yeah. Nobody else cares about that last play that, you know, they were going to lose the game <laughs> anyways unless somehow he caught it and ran for the touchdown, which was impossible. But right. that going up, I was like, come on, interception. Come on, interception. Yeah. Interception. And I ran around the house, you know, super excited. It was like, you know, same thing with my matchup with uh, the captain, Captain Morgan. It's another close game. Yeah, beating him by, what was that, like? barely a point yeah just a just point, over a point. One point yep. four yep because of a last play there jared goff thankfully fumbled yeah and then it was returned by now sue there so it, i was like watch the beginning i was like man i'm gonna have this because my guy godwin going in there i was gonna say was getting touches there's one person you need to thank here chris, chris the rest godwin. of your team was pretty awful thank you then. chris godwin and, and uh todd Gurley showed up that's true and mahomes had an average day that was a hard part because he had yep. like any touchdown passes but he, he did not look like the Mahomes we all know. Even though he still had over 300 yards, just wasn't Mahomes-esque. But I had a great little uh, voicemail, uh, voice message from, from Morgan in, in Miami <laughs> telling him how he was like, I went, I was doing this thinking, I'm going to win. And then it, afterwards, I go upstairs and I see the fumble and I lost. Yep. 1.4. That's how much I won there. Let's go over some of the weekly matchups here. Uh, David. Taking out Phil there, 102 to 98. Another close one. Yeah. Uh, very good matchup. A not so close one. The two new ads into our league this year to made it 12. Um, LaRoyce slotted my brother that, there. That dude's team, man. It either doesn't go off or it goes off. Oh, like, yeah. And like <laughs> when I played him, it didn't. And if it does, it goes up 150 to 80. I feel like he's had 150 like three times this year already. Like, it's, it's crazy, you know. And he had to do like the supplemental draft and hit the back end of the the draft order and he is turning it out at three and one now uh tim the dr james there done 20 to 94 soul juice is still uh zero in the win column there he's well he's, still he's got so it. we do a, a half win for oh being yeah, up i'm looking thing. head to head yeah yeah so actually that was a little bit of drama this week i i accidentally <laughs> left off his half win and he wasn't too happy about that so he <laughs> He's Let gotta, me know in the chat, and he's got to get every W he can. Yeah, you guys check my math. I'm, I don't claim to be a mathematician or anything. Yeah, so. and we talked about the toilet bowl this week. It was to you over Daniel there, eighty-five yep. to seventy-seven. Ooh, that was really low score. And then, yeah. then Joe almost doubled up Ryan and showed him who was who who's daddy. One twenty-one to sixty-seven. I kind of was wishing Ryan. Ryan's not here today. He's yeah, hanging out with some family, but he yeah, maybe. Maybe the family is just an excuse because yeah. his team is just bad, he's, man. He's ready to give up. He was, <laughs> he's not doing so great. He, was, he, he, he texted us saying like he, there's conspiracy with the concussions at receivers, yeah. finding anything he can to try to figure out why his team is, is just so bad. Yep. But that is fantasy. But we only made it, you know, made it through the first quarter of this season. Things, That's true. Plenty we're of the, things to go. Quarter of the way through. Quarter of the way through. There's a lot of things that can happen. Guys returning from injuries. Injuries will happen here. And uh, we need more trades in the league. I know. Trades. Come on. I, I feel like my hands are tied because all of my assets are like handcuffs and they yeah. have no value That's until true. that happens. And so I haven't been able to trade for anybody. But and like uh, Tim's keep, sitting there like on the two top tight ends. I know, yeah. Somebody, somebody, get in there. The man has Travis Kelsey and Austin Hooper. Make him some offers for either one. I think he's, you know, willing to entertain any of those. 
He's he's saying he he was going to need some running back help. So I mean, everybody needs running back help. Everybody does. So the injuries <laughs> and the bad performances. So we were far talking about year? that oh. this this weekend. I, I had like two burner spots on my bench. Yeah, it took me like an hour just to go through and find out what the heck I wanted to pick up because it was all so awful. So. This is a little another, I, you know, you were right. I told you so, David. It's it's rough on this waiver wire right now. Yeah, like, I'm keeping like Duke Johnson and, and, and uh, was it uh, Williams, Jamal Williams from Green Bay. He got concussed really badly yeah. in his game, and running back depth is so bad, I'm keeping that RB2 on my bench Yep, just in case because there's no one else to pick up there. So let's go to the, the pickups this week here. Oh, first I have to make oh, one more wait, comment no. to to Daniel. So Daniel, I saw it, I saw your snarky little remark in there that what if my kicker is the reason that I beat you because we were in this toilet bowl? Well, guess what? I beat you by more than three points or whatever he scored, <laughs> and it wasn't because of my kicker. I could have sat him. So right there. to you, turtle, turtle. <laughs> anyway, so man, I wanted that turtle drop right there. Oh, oh, get that one. I like turtles. It's a little delayed. I know. I That's fine. Uh, sorry. Right. This is for the my. I like turtles. I missed all your turtle drops. I'm sorry, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to some waiver wire claims this week. We had ten claims right off the coming off the first initial waiver. It was a light a light week, I would say. It was. You know, I was the biggest spender. I put twenty five bucks on Geronimo Allison. I thought more people were going after him. Is just explain to the people how terrible that is when you put in a bid that you think I'm not sure if I should bid this much, and then not a single person. I, you know. Ask Andy how that Ask feels because that was the worst one. But still, twenty five bucks. I pulled an Andy. I was say, were you not feeling too too well after that? <laughs> I was expecting like at least two other bids, and I was ex- I was looking for David. You thinking Adams is out? I need another receiver. Let me put Allison in there. Yep. I even walked up to David's classroom, and then he started teaching. And closed the door, and I was like turned around. I was about to say like, dude, <laughs> like, well, what do you know that I don't know? Yes, he might only miss a week. Yeah. Um, but I mean, with turf toe, you just never know. It's true. And uh, so I was like, you know, I'm going to go for Aaron Rodgers is his quarterback. You never know what can happen here. Yeah. So we got Allison pick up there. A.J. Brown, it was – I had him on my roster picking off after he had a good week, like week one. Dropped him when he did nothing. Now he does something great. And Daniel picks up A.J. Brown here. Mm -hmm. So let's let's see. Don't drop him if next week he does nothing. That's like his pattern (laughs) right now because I had him too. But A.J. Brown had a phenomenal game. Yeah. And, there, yeah. and then I had a couple pickups here. Uh, nobody bid on Jimmy Graham. I was really, su- really surprised that nobody else bid on him. Uh, I was kind of hoping to trade him because I have George Kittle. So if you meant to put a bid on Jimmy Graham, I'm open for business. <laughs> um, if you'd like Jimmy Graham, he's on the market. Uh, the other pickup I had was Auden Tate. This one felt like a nice little sneaky one I threw in yeah. there. Um, we didn't really know the John Ross injury, which he's now on IR. Yep. And so this is kind of the replacement for John Ross in the offense and AJ Green's still out. So when it's as rough as it is out there, I'm pretty excited about having Auden Tate on my team. <laughs> no, that's good. And uh, I like Joe's pick there, Jacoby Brissett. If you listen to our episode 42 there, what we just did earlier, he's our waiver wire QB. Uh, so efficient. Yep. And so a safe pickup. Um, more than likely, uh, you know, I don't know if Joe will keep him past this week or something, but he's a good pickup there. So if, if Jacoby goes back down on the waiver wires and you're on a bye week looking for a QB, Brissett's a great pickup. Uh, Phil picking up that Deontay Johnson for $5. Sneaky. He would have been worth more if Roethlisberger was at QB, but he had a quite a few. Yeah, I don't disagree with this move. There, he dropped but, yeah. McCole Hardman, who yeah. if Tyreek's coming back, he's going to become pretty irrelevant. So it's kind of like a playing for the future, not playing for the now type of thing, which I understand if you've, you know, this is just bench spots. Yeah, Michael Hardman was maybe being the third or fourth receiver on the offense, and Deontay is now solidifying himself as the uh, usually a two or the three, depending on what the package is, if they're putting him in the slot or on the outside. So a little fast guy made some good plays on Monday night. Then some typical ones there, picking up defenses and kickers and defenses and kickers. Yeah. So that's what you do during the bye weeks. Not a lot to home about. But, yeah, not too crazy of a waiver wire pickup there. But, uh, yeah, looking into an exciting week. Uh, just to let you know, we are doing another bet, me and Sean. I think we mentioned that earlier. Yeah, we're going to do a Geronimo Allison bet. I don't quite believe in him this week. And, and I believe Obviously, he put $25 on $25 him. $25 so worth. I had to, I had to, I had that's to how stand much, up for that one. So 25 points or less, I win, right? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll have to discuss that more. But Yes, sir. We'll throw it up on there so you guys can. Uh, 
Yeah, and by the way, since we're talking to our league here, what yes. the heck with these these bet things? I mean, I'm not giving away my firstborn child through these bets. Yes. It's just fantasy football here. I'm People want us to shave one half, leg. Yeah, all this, what's this half shaving? You got one leg, somebody wants to take an eyebrow off. I, I did agree to the beard, but yeah, I can't steal away Sean's beard. He's been, he's been trying really hard for what he's yeah. got right now. I don't know if my wife's going to listen to this, but she won't let me grow this out during the summer. So the winter is my only time and I really enjoy my beard. So I don't want to give it up. So no. call me selfish, but yes. I want my beard and it, and it takes Chris like two weeks to grow that. It takes me like a month to grow this. So it's yeah. a little more hurtful to me, I think than to you. <laughs> and I, I trim it down all the time. So he does get thicker, but you know, I don't need to, if you see Mike's profile picture on his, uh, so I'm not banning you from there. giving us ideas for our bets, but can you keep them a little tamer here? I mean, we're just making yeah. bench player, uh, bets here. We're not going off on year long or anything. Right. And I, and I think Sean, and I'm just going to say it cause we didn't talk about it earlier, but I think here in the next week or two, we're going to start bringing you guys in studio. Yes. For yeah. seven, five, seven talks. Hit, us, seven, hit us up league league mate alert alert you can hit us up if you want to be on the show i've got you know four mics now we're all ready to go hit us up I you'll know. be on both episodes that we record the regular yep. and the 757 talk just just give me a text and we'll get you on the show here dr james i'd love to have you back just yes. just a little shout out there we, we missed dr james from last season oh shout out we're recording in phil studios another five dollars <laughs> <laughs> all right well that's pretty much all we have for you guys this week thanks for listening like subscribe and uh, don't spend $25 on Geronimo Allison like Mr. Chris did. That hurts. <laughs> All right. Deuces. Bye.